Hello gorgeous. So this is going to be take... I really don't want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> of my new Let's Play series, beginning with Final Fantasy 3, obviously actually Final Fantasy 6, for the Super Nintendo. I'm hoping that even though I've had most of the major plot points of this game spoiled for me over the years, um, it will still be a fun and exciting and new experience for all of us. So let me get into the game, and we'll begin. Very dramatic opening screen for the game. The lightning and loud operatic music. I will say that I have listened to pretty much the entire soundtrack of Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 before, and it is one of my favorites. Um, Nobuo Uematsu is a very, very talented composer. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. A bit disappointing. Real downer. One thousand years have passed, iron gunpowder and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. Some quite lovely blending effects on the smoke in this opening. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread, destructive force known as magic. It's a very intimidating looking building as they talk about destructive forces. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? A question I fear we are all too familiar with in our own modern world. The wind effects are quite loud, and unfortunately I'm using two different audio capture devices for this setup. So, here we are introduced to They found an esper in this town, over a thousand years after the war that we were just told about. And these are some soldiers in their mecha suits. This woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? Sounds like a dick. Oh wow, she killed... 50 mecha in under 3 minutes. That's quite impressive. They've robbed her of her conscious thought, however, using a slave crown. Which I'm sure isn't a metaphor for anything. Note that he says that they're going to approach from the east, so you get the sense immediately already that these soldiers are not here to recover this creature using any kind of peaceful means, and I'll shut up during the credits. Thank you. 
there's some very lovely line scrolling effects here. You can really tell as a a later Super Nintendo release that they really pulled out all of the technological stops. Had worried that my own voice might be a bit too quiet relative to the sound of the game. Um, but on initial testing, it seemed like you couldn't really hear the music coming out of the computer, so hopefully that isn't an issue. Hopefully all of the cars and the screaming winter, wi winter winds outside my apartment aren't an issue either. I, I did say I'd shut up during the sequence, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't realize that I was just running through that. <laughs> and I had forgotten to actually begin, and it was just playing the opening for me. Alright, so here we are in this town. And of course, because these soldiers are not very good people, they're going to let this... I believe... Oh, oh dear. I accidentally tried to leave. Um... Ooh, this character is currently unnamed. Yes. Our friend here. We don't know who she is. Um, but we do know how much experience she has. Um, and Wedge and Vix, who have some quite phenomenal looking headgear in their profiles. So, let's see. Oh dear. <laughs> and there's that wonderful classic Final Fantasy music for battles. And we've... We've killed a dog. This is... No, come back, I want to be your friend. I mean, I'm sure these soldiers don't, but I do. And, and I can't get through there. Well, we'll head this way. And there are more. This town is apparently named Narsh. And even though they said magic is gone from this world, um, you'll note that our our technology is magic tech. Oh dear. Oh, and they are quite dead. I do apologize about the wind noises. Hopefully that's not too harsh. These people seem like they are... not at all bad people. They want to be free. Although their dogs are quite large.
But they also seem quite underpowered compared to our magical mecha. And we've leveled up. Uh, Vix and Wedge are quite a bit higher level now. So let's see if we can... It doesn't look like we can really explore this town as it is now. Probably not something that we can do until after we have freed ourselves of this mind control device. <laughs> oh, we've been surrounded. That's an interesting mechanic. I don't think I've seen that in a game quite this much before. Um, heal some of these characters, although I wouldn't particularly mind if these soldiers didn't make it. They seem like nasty people. I suppose I'll heal them in battle if I need to. Not quite sure what sort of... Oh, those are mammoths! Fascinating! I'm going to have them heal themselves. They are cowards. And I believe this attacks all of them. She really is quite powerful. You can see why they were so afraid of her. I find it interesting though that she hasn't leveled up yet, but they have several times. Oh, oh yes she has, never mind. Ignore me. I hope I'm not being too quiet. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in the new mineshaft. Maybe this one. You really should get better sources if you're not sure. Again, we have some lovely blending effect. And this mine is full of... some things. Those appear to be very... angry rats? Yes, were-rat. Okay, I see. Oh, but they're were-rats, so they used to be people. It's rather... grim. to save here at this save point. Yes, tell me about save point. You can use sleeping bags or tents. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from the last save. Interesting. So we'll retain experience if we get a game over, but we'll have to start otherwise back from the last save. That sounds very useful. So, oh, that's some lovely music. A little sting there. Piano. game clearly doesn't want us to be going in separate directions. Is that really necessary? 
repo, man. I feel like there's a dated pop culture reference I could be making. Threw a wrench at me. There's another dated pop culture reference I could be making. And of course, not only are they... Ooh, that's some lovely music. Very terrifying looking snail. Now they're telling me how to defeat this boss. Which I think is quite amusing, but I suppose we are still in a tutorial segment. Recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning and stores the energy in its shell. Whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Like whatever you do should be don't attack with lightning, but I suppose not. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, it's come back. <sighs> I was worried that would happen. defeated this terrifying monster. I'm not really sure what it was doing down here. And here's what we were looking for. It looks like some kind of phoenix-like creature. The frozen esper. What's the matter? And it's reacting to our main character here. The frozen creature began to emit an eerie light. Oh dear, I don't think these soldiers are going to survive. It's quite a terrifying way to die. Oh 
although all of that lightning also seems like it can't have done her any good. Oh, we're awake. <laughs> Hello. Where am I? He's apparently removed our slave crown. Although, we have quite the headache from that. does not look particularly old in his sprite, but they have been calling him Old Man. He's explaining the use of the device, but we can't remember anything. Hopefully our memories will return. Mysterious young woman, controlled by the Empire, and born with the gift of magic. Her name is Terra, and we're gonna keep that. No, I really feel creative at the moment. However, we do remember our name. That's good. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Well, thank you. We are apparently still in Narsh. Although... Seems like the soldiers we were fighting earlier want us back. They, uh, don't appreciate everything that happened. So why did this old man save us? We want that girl, she's an officer of the Empire! But I don't remember any of this. Well, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to explain why he saved us, because there's no time. I suppose we should follow him. I wonder if we can... Oh! There was an elixir in that clock! We can't... we can't go out and talk to them, that's fairly reasonable. Wouldn't call them brutes, they... they were trying to defend the, this town. But I suppose we will escape through the mines as you recommend. It's a very lovely town. Oh, they found us already. Hopefully these mines will... Help us escape? Oh dear. Some sort of... So we do have proper magic, which they said had disappeared from the world, but... Not much. Let's try... Lighting this angry cloud on fire. Seems to have done the trick. I don't know if we fight this man with the wrench. Did he hit himself with his own wrench? Or am I reading that wrong? We do have weapons. We have a mithril knife. Don't appear to have much of anything else. 
Although we do have some sleeping bags. Let's save at this save point. Oops. And for the time being, we're just going to pause for a moment and see how this first little tutorial ran. Well, thank you for coming together with me on the start of this quest. This mystic quest. Hopefully we should be seeing each other again soon. Have a nice day.